I'm on the way out the door. Yvonne and I are going to go to Sam's Club. I haven't been there in forever and have this membership. So the holidays is a great time to get back over there. Then we're going to go over to Michael's Craft Supply. And I'm getting two pencil trees that I've always wanted to have ever since I got my lower hutch in my dining room. So they're going to go on either end of that. Can't wait to show you that. We're going to decorate them when I get back. And I'll show you the grocery haul. Here is the Sam's haul. So I got some avocado oil. Then we needed to stock up on feminine products. I got some dryer sheets. And of course, they had these cuties, which we could not resist. Wasn't on the list. <laughs> then I love that press and seal for saran wrap. I got plastic plates because they are disposable. So when we have family parties, that will really help me. Razors are things that we're always using up. And then, of course, some cream for our legs so it's easier to go ahead and shave those legs. I'm just saying. And then um, you saw the downy uh, crystals. We got some shampoo, conditioner. We got a good stock of cups for the holidays so that we're not teeming with dishes that we can't keep up with. And then I also got this bit of cheese. That's really more for football games that are coming up. Some Jif. And then we got soda. Uh, some beef. We had a beef stew with that beef. It was really good. I actually was able to divide that in half, so I have some for another day. Sour cream was for uh, a gathering we were having with fajitas, and then honey we go through like you wouldn't believe. I got some Dove soap, a good stock of that, and then some toothpaste that is our favorite toothpaste uh the avocado surprised me they were ripe and we were having church people over so i needed a lot of them asparagus for me and then deodorant stuffing there's three bags there for christmas and thanksgiving the green beans the toilet paper the hand soap a good stock of that and then some dove shampoo conditioner i needed the crock pot liners to save me on dishes always a good thing we sucked up on some trash bags and then disposable wipes for the bathroom Green beans are for me because one can is about a cup and a half, which is how much I have for a vegetable each night. And then we wanted to try this conditioner that I've never tried. We got dishwasher tabs and then dental floss, which we honestly are always fighting over. <laughs> I got those pencil trees at Michael's. That place was a mess. It surprises me how high they have boxes stacked. And I understand it's because they don't have enough staff on. But I'm kind of surprised that they're not worried about liability of a child ending up with an eight-foot pile of boxes coming tumbling down on them. It's just honestly a little frightening. But anyway, I digress. I'm getting the dining room ready for decorating. So this is that half hutch I was saying. And this is the cloth. I have one just like it in the living room under our TV. And then there's one for in here. And I'm just going to play with some things and see how I like them on this what I call sideboard my husband calls it a hutch and so you might have seen some of these things when I was doing my holiday decor declutter and I'll have that video linked in my description box if you missed it and I'm just trying out these candles and that silver tree but I'm going to end up removing those I just felt like it was too much candles didn't really match size and then I'm putting some blue and silver balls in this little display and I really loved that because I'm going to be using those colors on the pencil trees as well so you can see I was having a little bit of trouble because of course they're round and they roll off and I was trying to place them just right as though anyone looking at it is going to notice if there's too many silver balls in one spot so here is the pencil tree that I got and I got two of them it was called cashmere and I liked it because it looked more real. It was about $80, I think, on sale. The one I intended to get was $60, it was $59.99. I'm so glad I didn't buy it online because it looked super, super plasticky. It just didn't look nice at all. And my daughter, Yvonne, and I, we found it in the store. We picked it out because we saw it on display. But of course, there were none underneath it in the boxes. And as I said, the place was a mess. So her and I scoured the store 
looking for all the stacks of boxes to find one of these trees and thankfully I was able to get to it without moving seven feet of boxes ahead of it that were over the top of it but honestly if I didn't have Yvonne with me I don't think I would have stuck with it I think I would have given up and just gone home and maybe I would have ordered it online so I had to move this to get to the electricity and I thought, wow, I can't even believe how much junk is under there. It was kind of like fall decor and different things. You know, of course, cats are probably knocking things off my sideboard when I have decor. And then I had these power strips inside. I had drilled holes in the back of it, or actually my husband did, so that my daughters could be putting their laptops in there for school. But we don't keep the laptops there anymore. So I took out a power strip to use so that it was easier to plug in the trees each night and we ended up putting one on each side of the sideboard one for each tree now this is the first ever artificial tree I have ever purchased in my life I'm a Mainer I live in the pine tree state <laughs> so we always get fresh trees so this is kind of my first experiment with having an artificial tree and I have no idea what I'm doing right now I am just trying to make it look like a tree so if there's a proper fluffing method out there I guarantee you I am not using it I'm just trying to spread these branches out and make them look pretty so my method here is to have a fluff and a zhuzh and a fluff and a zhuzh <laughs> and when it finally looks like something I can tolerate then I knew it was time to put the ornaments on so if you have any advice for others it's too late for me I've already done it if you have any advice for others on easy ways to fluff trees and you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section you can see I did have a boss someone who was telling me whether or not I was doing a good job Leo is always there to judge me and I had this silver ribbon from last year and it has little snowflakes on it and it is wired and so back in the day a few years ago I remember watching Love Meg on her YouTube channel she no longer puts videos on YouTube but if you look up Love Meg she has some great Christmas decor videos I don't know if she still has them up because she does have a website but anyways I am just kind of putting the wired ribbon on the tree and then also ornaments so I start out kind of wrapping around the tree even though I would cut the ribbon and um, put small pieces I found it was easier to control it that way and I end up doing even smaller pieces when I do the second tree because I kind of realized you know you're kind of wrapping it but then tucking pieces and poofing pieces out so that it looks more natural as ribbon now I get a little tired of that well actually what happened was I realized I wanted them to have symmetry because I am all about symmetry so I thought I'll put up the other tree I will get that fluffed and I'll kind of do the wrapping and the ornaments at the same time going between the two trees because I felt like that was really my best chance I don't want them to be twins but I would like them to at least be siblings you know so I'm going to be wrapping that with the ribbon as well and thankfully I had tons of that ribbon I had plenty I even have a little bit extra that I might use in a coffee bar which you'll see in a later video I'm gonna have lots of videos up for Christmas theme I'm also gonna be doing more decluttering more visiting other friends houses and decluttering so if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell so that YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and even if they don't put it on your home page you can click your subscriptions and it will show you all of the people that you have clicked subscribe for that way you'll always know when they have put up new videos because if you don't watch a couple of mine like some people you know you like the decluttering but you don't like the cleaning videos or you like the day in the life but you don't like decluttering so when you don't watch all the videos and what happens is that YouTube won't keep putting that person up on your homepage because they think that you've lost interest but if you click on your little subscribe or subscription button on YouTube at the bottom then it will bring you over to the people who you have subscribed to so I always do that because I recognize that YouTube's not always going to tell me when someone I love has uploaded a new video back to the tree <laughs> so what I am doing is I'm completely using silver and these royal blue bulbs I just love these colors and the best part is they are the colors of Hanukkah so I like that very much the festival of lights I love that 
So I'm predominantly using silver and the ribbon is silver as well. And then my daughter, Rachel, who is an artist, gave me the suggestion to just do pops of that royal blue. The silver was a little bit too mundane for me, but having a lot of the royal blue was also a little bit much. So just using little pops of color is where I ended up landing and I really, really thought that looked pretty. So you can see that Rachel's coming over because I was kind of frustrated because I was being almost too horizontal where it just looked like straight lines of silver. So she's giving it a little fluff for me and helping me out with that ribbon. As you might be able to imagine, this ended up being a takeout night for supper. I didn't do takeout because there's really nothing in my town that is something that would make me feel good about eating on my health journey. I definitely wasn't going to be eating takeout pizza. So I ended up making something for myself. And you know what? I take that back. My husband, Robin, ended up making something for me to help me out. I did not tell him I was going to do this. He was working. I had an opportunity to get to Michael's and I just took the opportunity. I come home and of course he gets done working. I am deep in this tree and there is no way I am stopping. So we had to kind of figure out what was everybody going to eat because mama wasn't cooking. I didn't have a good meal plan. My meal plan had kind of fallen apart. Isn't it funny that the days you go grocery shopping or bring in a lot of food ends up being the day you have absolutely no meal plan? Let me know <laughs> if that's you. In fact, as I move back over to the other tree, you can see out my window that it is dark outside. Of course, it is getting dark at like five o'clock at night now. We are heading into deep winter. By the time it's the shortest day of the year, it'll be that dark at 4.30. So it is dark out, but that's because it's supper time. And um, honestly, isn't it the case that once you get in the zone, you just do not want to stop. And I do not want to stop until this is done. But honestly, I was also so very excited about this and how it was going to look because it's been something I've been thinking about doing for a couple of years, but I've never actually done it. Once you get to Christmas time, all you're thinking about is being able to afford the presents for the ones you love. And you're a little bit worried about money and you're going to be doing extra foods, extra specialty foods. There's just so many expenses at the end of the year that it can be a little bit hard to do these little splurges on decor, but I am just so glad I did because I absolutely love the outcome. If you would, let me know in the comment section or even click on the like button if you like to kind of watch the whole process from beginning to end or if you prefer to just see the beginning and for me to show you the end. Let me know that too in the comment section because I definitely want to make videos that you want to watch and that are encouraging to you. I know I like to see the whole process. I find it very motivating and relaxing to just watch someone work. When I watch someone work, it really makes me want to work. I find it very, very motivating. So let me know if that's true of you too. On this night, I stuck to the dining room. Doing the sideboard and doing the pencil trees was all that I could do that night. But I also have filmed decorating the rest of my house in a clean and decorate that you're going to see coming up soon. I also went to my friend Heather's house again. You already saw me do her canning supplies. But next, we're going to take on a lot of the toys that were in her basement, which I think a toy declutter is a great declutter to have at Christmas time. You're going to be seeing that coming up soon as well so you're not going to want to miss that also if you could let me know if you're interested to see stocking ideas and gift ideas for teenagers and young adults if that is something that you would find helpful I could even include young children in there since I do have grandchildren but you let me know if you are looking for gift ideas and what age category and gender you would you would find helpful and I could make a video about that too. I'm also shopping today for stocking stuffers for them and I told the kids I'm like I need your list if there's anything on your wish list because I would love to have my Christmas shopping predominantly done within the next week. So you let me know what would be helpful to you and I would be happy to make that.
Having already said that I didn't do any other decorating, actually that's not technically true. Santa's elves were outside doing some decor and so I'm going to show you what went on out there. Ava actually decided she was putting up the lights this year. So up the ladder she went and she did a fabulous job. There it is across the front of the house. And here is how the dining room turned out with those trees and I absolutely love it. I had a hard time getting a good angle for you to actually see it because the room is small but I could not be happier. And then I was so motivated by Ava getting my lights up that I went and got my Christmas wreath and I took down the fall one and put up the Christmas one. This is one I probably got this at home goods or tj maxx they always have great ones that are like 20 25 dollars and so oftentimes i will get one there it didn't work between the doors there just wasn't enough room so it, there it is on the outside of the house and it just looks so festive and pretty Wizzy and I wanted you to know that I have other videos that I've put up here that you are going to find more motivation and encouragement. So go ahead and click on and I'll meet you over there. Remember, as always, God loves you and I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.